everyone, it's me, Scott, HostGator's IP VIP, your internet pro to call, your subnet masked crusader. In this episode of Hosted, I'll address a very common question. What is an IP address? Get it? Like all those jokes? There's like five jokes. <laughs> So you want to know what an IP address is? Well, you came to the right place. And you probably got here because of an IP address. Nope, you definitely got here because of an IP address. Because everything on the internet has an IP address. I mean, we're talking everything. We're talking your phone, we're talking your laptop, we're talking your smart lights, we're talking the server your awesome website lives on. We're all of it, everything. Anything on the internet has it. It has one, they all have one. All of it. And that's everything, everything in the world. My garage door opener has one. My phone has one. I already said phone. My watch has one. Your watch has one. Everything. My TV, my TV in my living room, my TV in my bedroom, my microwave, my oven, they all have IP addresses. What? Isn't that crazy? Oh my. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> the IP and IP address stands for Internet Protocol, which is basically the set of rules and processes that make it possible to and regulate how data is sent between devices connected to each other over the internet. An IP address then is the unique identifier of the location of each of those devices. So, when you go to a website on your computer, you're basically sending a request from your computer's IP address through your router to communicate with and view the contents of the server that hosts the website using its IP address. Like mailing a letter to your 80-year-old pen pal in Saginaw from your address to theirs. Hey, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> then, they respond to your return address. Instead of a street name and house number, however, your IP address is likely an IPv4 or IP version 4 address, which means it's four numbers, each between 0 and 255, split up by periods. There is also an IP version 6 that is made up of 32 digits of letters and numbers. This is a less likely configuration for your local area network devices, but that's what that means. So yeah, hopefully that clears that up. Version 6. Version 5, get out of here. There are two main levels of IP addresses. Public IP addresses and private IP addresses. Your public IP address is the address your internet service provider assigns to your house. So it's the address that connects your house to the outside world. Your private IP addresses are the addresses of each individual device connected to your personal network, or local area network, assigned by your router or your gateway. So your router or modem is basically the guy who receives and delivers data to and from the outside world. Typically, private IP addresses are set for each device automatically using a DHCP setting or manually. If setting IP addresses manually, be careful not to use the same IP address for multiple devices because this can cause some confusion. In terms of web hosting, your hosting server has an IP address also. So when you go to a website using your computer, your request uses a domain name system or DNS to translate the domain to an IP address, and then finds the server with that address, and then that server sends back the data that looks like the website you're trying to look at. All of this happens behind the scenes, so you only have to know a site's domain name to view it. Whew. Fancy. That would oh, suck. <laughs> and there you have it, a quick rundown on IP address basics. On our next episode, my pen pal Frank stops by for an uncut reading of Moby Dick. <laughs> He's the best. Okay, bye! Mike, have you ever read Moby Dick? I have pretended to read Moby Dick. <laughs> the Cliff Notes, yes. Yes. So wonderful. If I had a nickel for every book that I didn't actually read that I told people I read, I'd have a nickel for every book I ever mentioned. <laughs> I don't know how to read! That's a lot of nickels. It is.